President Trump uh, talking on the South Lawn a short time ago. He was asked if he is going to ban TikTok here in the United States. Let's listen in to his response. We're looking at TikTok. We may be banning TikTok. We may be doing some other things. There are a couple of options, but a lot of things are happening. So we'll see what happens. But we are looking at a lot of alternatives with respect to TikTok. Obviously, Kelly, the concern is the security risk here in terms of how TikTok handles user data and whether or not it goes back to China or the or the Communist Party. Um, feasibly, the this one stock, the one company that could benefit the most from this ban would be Facebook. We haven't seen a reaction in those shares, although this had sort of been talked about for some time that the U.S. would take action when it comes to TikTok. Yeah, I was similarly looking at Snap, Melissa. Maybe we can show it real quick. Not a huge reaction. We saw them up big, obviously, the last time this was uh, rumored. They're up a little bit more than 3% on the session today. And we should know that Dow Jones is now reporting the president will sign an order demanding ByteDance to divest TikTok. So while the president's response may be unclear, uh, the story reporting is starting to point towards this actually happening. Now, we know TikTok has a U.S. CEO, Kevin Meyer. He's mm -hmm. formerly of Disney. Um, whether they just were to say, fine, this company will continue to exist in the U.S. as a standalone operation pretty much the way that it does now, uh, or whether it threatens their entire, you know, existence in this country. I mean, they have millions and millions of U.S. users. Right. They're probably the single most popular social media app among people under age 20. And you have to sort of wonder if TikTok on its own is a separate company from ByteDance that may be U.S.-based with a U.S. CEO could actually be a more formidable competitor to a, a Facebook or a Snap. So those sure. are all questions here.